What's up guys? My name is Bucky Roberts and welcome to your very first tutorial in the R programming language. Now my guess is that if you're watching this video you already know what R is and what it's used for but for those people who maybe just heard of it before and they wanted to check out a video to learn what it is let me go ahead and uh, take a few seconds and explain that. What R is is it's a computer programming language made specifically for statistics and I'm talking about with this program you can do things like graph charts and um, graphs and a whole bunch of stuff let me actually go ahead and show you guys a couple examples and before you guys are like alright see you later Bucky I'm not a math nerd I'm not going to school for statistics I'll catch you in the next video wait just a second for anyone who has ever programmed and is actually interested in ever graphing charts or graphs or anything like that, you probably want to stick around and learn this because it's not just for math majors or people that are, you know, obsessed with statistics or anything like that. This can be useful in any program and actually the software that we're going to be using to learn is actually incredibly powerful and you can make awesome charts graphs and look at this thing I don't even know what the heck it's called but uh, it's a graphic that was created in this program and it's it looks confusing right now but it's actually very powerful and really easy to use once you get the basics of it so hopefully I got you guys a little interested in it so the first thing that we actually need to do is download uh, the software that allows us to run R so if you go to this website right here cran.r-project.org then you can see that there are a couple different links here and downloading it is actually you know really really easy if you ever downloaded anything in your life you probably know how to do it but let's just go ahead and I'm running Windows and if you uh, if you have Linux or Mac it's gonna be easy for you but I'm gonna show you guys how to download it on Windows and I don't have it on my computer so I'm gonna click install R for the first time and la 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 I have to click something else right here download R for Windows so oh great don't tell me this is gonna take like a minute now I gotta tell you guys like a story or something alright oh I know a story so last night um it was raining out and I always keep my garage door open um but I, I don't know just cuz like I like to air it out cuz it's kinda like musty and stinky in there but anyways I closed my house my garage door is still open and it was raining so a skunk decided to walk in my garage because you know get out of the rain hey Bucky's garage is open cuz he's an idiot I'll just walk in there so I opened the door because I was gonna actually close uh, the garage door and I saw this skunk and I just looked at him and he looked at me and he's like what's up and thankfully he didn't like shoot me or spray me or whatever or whatever it's called so uh, he just saw uh, um, I closed the door slowly as not to spook him and he ran away so you know thank God for that alright so pretty awful story but <laughs> now that R is downloaded let's just go ahead and double click that exe file and also I want to mention if you go to Bucky downloads or wherever your downloads are it's going to be, where is it, this thing right here. The file is called R- in whatever version it is. So go ahead and double click that. And as you can see, it says, hey, dude, you want to run this? Heck yeah, we do. So run that, yes. Okay. And you're pretty much going to select all of the defaults. So next, next. And if you don't know what type of operating system you have, then, um, the thing is, if you have any um, like recent computer, you probably have 64-bit, but <clears throat> if you don't know, then just go ahead and install all the files. I know I have 64-bit, so I'm just going to go ahead and click Next, and Next, Next. See, so yeah, I told you guys this was incredibly easy. And another thing I want to mention is, since this is basically the core program, once we have this on our computer we can use the R programming language however what we're going to be doing is we're going to be actually um, downloading another program that allows allows us to work with it a lot easier it's a piece of software called IDE and uh, that's what we're going to be using to actually 
do all our, our tutorials in so we really don't need this desktop icon right here because we're going to be using something else this is just the base so you can go ahead and uncheck that click next and zip it oh yeah you guys like my background oh my where are you looking at oh, I'm gonna cover those bad boys up actually I like her but uh, I think my dream girl is uh, Rachel McAdams or Natalie Portman I can't decide which one I want to date once I do you know probably settle down probably gonna be Rachel McAdams Rachel if you're listening I love you alright jeez I need a new computer someone send me a new computer this is taking away too stinking long alright so finish this and hmm check it out we now have R on our computer so if you don't believe me just open up your programs and you can see R x64 which means 64 bit 310 boom roasted alright so in the next video what I'm gonna be doing is now that we have R installed and our computer says alright you can do crap with R now I'm gonna be showing you guys how to download the program that we're actually gonna be using that makes R ten times better so thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.